Yeah, it's fantastic to be here to see the opening of the uh, Rupert Park uh, multi-use games area. It is a really versatile facility, so they allow us to play a multitude of different sports on the uh, pitch. We had something like this where I was growing up back in Gypsy Hill, but it was concrete. So I had gashes all around my knees and my, my ankles, my shins. So they, they've got it. They've got it really good. I have to say that. The old one was dilapidated. You couldn't play, you know, on the rainy day. The floodlights were not working. It just wasn't fit for purpose. When you're growing up and you're playing football, all you want to do is play on a really nice pitch um, and play with your friends. And this seems like the perfect environment to sort of do that. The foundation have done a fantastic job in getting these sort of pitches out here. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic to be here. Uh, the pitch looks amazing. The environment's incredible. Without partners, uh, this facility wouldn't happen. The Football Foundation's been really pleased that we were able to play a part within this, using the funding that's provided by the Premier League, the FA and the government via Sport England. It's great to see the, the fruits of the labour here in front of us today. We run a youth and communities programme called Kicks. Um, we know that a lot of people, young and old, are really suffering at the moment. We would love to engage 200 plus participants a year, four nights a week. And not only will we be doing mainstream activity, we're going to expand it to include disability programmes, girls only programmes and adult health, so walking football. For me growing up, to come out and play football with my friends or people that lived on the same estate as me or even from different estates was a way of meeting new people and it was a way to just show your talent or just to have fun. The fact that they have this around on an estate like this is, is, is brilliant really. A, a lot of these kids now are going to be friends and keep them off doing the, the wrong things and hanging around with the wrong crowds. To have something like Ned present today is it's just amazing for young people here. He represents everything that they could actually achieve in their lives. And when I come down, I play football with my friends, I play basketball, football, we play a lot of games. We've just seen the dance performance, we can have general fitness activities, it all means that it can really engage a wide section of the community and then have massive impacts on both the uh, physical well-being and the mental well-being of local residents. I feel like it's good for all the kids to come together in the community, for us to all get to know each other and we're together as a unit in the estate. Sport is such a big part of growing up. For me, uh, women's football was not a big thing. I was one out of maybe 10 or 12 boys that would do it. So the fact that Fulham Foundation are already hosting girls' kick sessions here, and with this new pitch, I think that's only going to grow and it's only going to widen the scope of women's football in the area. The Women's Euros, without a doubt, are going to inspire more girls and women to play. Hugely important that they can be watching a game here on the estate, and then two minutes later, they can be out playing on a, on a great surface. Community is going to come first on this pitch and that's really important and the idea that we're also going to be making space for, for disabled people is, is massively important as well. All of us need to keep healthy, fit and active and, and that shouldn't be hindered in any way at all by our gender or our ability. People residents have commented how much transformation this, this has already had. I love it a lot. It's a fresh start from the old pitch and I hope it can stay around for long.